Hello, welcome to LEV Toys! Well, we broke down the rainbow apartment. When by by we, I mean Nico broke it down, and I know, I know that lots of you are absolutely mortified. <laughs> and he was a little bit too. That didn't stop him from coming back and chewing on it later. But I needed to break it down because I need the pieces to make new builds, including today's build, because Today's pieces, we don't have many of them, so I had to get all the ones that I'd used in here for our <gasps> too much transparent build because this one is not an easy way to go about building because transparent pieces are not so common. These are <laughs> the transparent pieces I have. And as you can see, there are some strange shaped things in here. And oh, actually, this is what I have to tell you. So this sword here, this is translucent. I had to look this up because I've been using these words interchangeably and they're not interchangeable. Translucent means that you can see through it, but you can't actually properly see an image through it. Whereas transparent means it's clear. You can see through it even if it has color. So translucent is kind of cloudy, but see through and transparent means it's clear see through. Now, that means I'm going to use the word transparent for most of this. Now I've got lots of these big, tall, pillory pieces. An umbrella, that's going to be handy. <laughs> I've actually got a few umbrellas. Got a lot of these green ones thanks to one of the Minecraft sets I built because they were for the trees. And I'm going to avoid using these transparent pieces. Uh, I'm sure I've got another big window or door panel -y thing because there's no transparent, <laughs> I almost said translucent, transparent frames for them. So I'm going to avoid using them if I can. So what have we got? Oh, we've got a lot of problems actually. Even though we got lots of pieces, these will be useful. But even though we got lots of pieces, we don't have big pieces. I like flat big pieces. So let me show you. So the only pieces that I have in translucent that are, this is the biggest it comes in. For me, I've only got these four by one pieces and they're only flat along the top. I got quite a few of these, especially in blue, but that's not very useful when you're trying to connect other pieces to them. I've got a lot of these two by one plates, but I don't have anything bigger than that, like longer than that in plates. So making a base plate for this <laughs> nightmare. So very small pieces, also gonna be hard to interconnect the pieces. Got a lot of these disky type shapes which is cute and fun, but they don't connect to much. Look, see, I can't connect to that and make a nice smooth top because they don't actually connect. You need to stick a rod down in the middle. So this is a bit of, this is a bit of an impediment to our building. And some of them don't even have holes in the middle of them. So I'm not certain how to use a lot of these pieces to connect one to another because they're designed to be connected with the opaque pieces. Now this shield piece here is kind of the biggest flat piece that I have. Uh, so normally I like using those to smooth things over, but looks like these ones in opaque, like the solid colors. I love using these pieces to smooth everything over and make it look kind of modern and not quite so Lego-y like a building block. And also these curved pieces, none of these come in a translucent color. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna struggle. So this is the best I've got. Actually, I'm wrong. I do have one piece, one plate piece bigger from the old Belleville set that I just built that I found in a thrift shop. So this is actually Lego. Have not seen this piece before or since, but it is transparent. So I can use it, but it's nowhere near big enough. Oh, and this, this style is the only transparent piece that I have with hooks on it, but I've got no connectors for it because all my connectors and technique pieces, they're all opaque, no transparent pieces. And I have one single forward facing stud block. That's it. That's it. That's like that. And I use this so much, so this is going to be tricky. Right, so first up, speaking of tricky, to make the mini doll, I've got some transparent hair pieces and they are absolutely bonkers. We got the slime block here from Minecraft. Let's check them all out. Now, before we do that though, let's make our mini doll and she's going to be working, well, you can see that she's going to be running some sort of a cafe or, or food kind of venue by the clothes that I've decided to put her in. But hairpiece, no, we're not going to have her possessed by slimy ghosts. So that one's not going to work so well. Got a few other choices. We could put, put a, a, a bowl on her head, which is cool how it distorts her features, doesn't it? But it's not going to work. <laughs> 
none of these going to work, but I'm still going to try them all out. Thanks to the Lego Movie 2 glittery vampires, we've actually got two new translucent hair pieces, transparent pair hair pieces. I told you I was using them interchangeably and then it's not quite correct. So we've got the blue one and we've got this purple one, which looks kind of a bit funky without the, uh, without the color painted on the side of her head. She kind of just looks bald rather than having a shaved side. So that one is funky as it looks. It's not quite so good. And I just had to use the slime block because <laughs> it looks so funny. It looks like, Ooh, what's happening here? <laughs> it doesn't even work, but look, look. Ooh, what's down there? Oh, what's up there? Oh, this looks strange over here. Okay, I could do that all day, but I probably shouldn't. So let's put our head back on and try what else we got. So this brain piece, like pink swirly brain piece, I'm not even sure where this comes from. So <laughs> well, I got it on Bricklink a little while ago and uh, it's not going to be useful today, but I thought it was pretty funny. And this one comes out of the new Hidden Side sets. A few little transparenty pieces here, but it's definitely like a ghosty kind of thing. And that's not what we're looking for. So maybe she could wear a jelly on her head. This is the old style chef's hat, but it's a jelly. <laughs> this would kind of work, except she looks a bit weird with the bald head on the back. So the best of a bad bunch in our transparent hair pieces is this smoky black one which came with uh, I think a ghost minifigure but, so, but it works nicely and of course she's got a dog because we've got a ghost dog and I just had to use him he's so cute and I asked you guys what we should call them and you decided on pretty unanimously actually crystal for the girl and the ghost dog of course has to be called Casper because it just suits him so well all right now base plate this is all I've got <laughs> this is it so we are going to use this but I'm going to totally have to cheat for the base plate going to use a tan base plate we're going to pretend that this whole transparent build has got a wood flooring because there's no way out of the pieces that I have that I could have made a base plate so let's start putting everything else on it transparent and I We'll try not to cheat again in the whole build because I do think I can do this. So over here in this corner, I'm going to make kind of the little service area, like the display section where we're going to be making, well, I don't want to give it away yet, but, but let's make it, we're going to make it really pretty. I've got a few of these sparkly blocks that came out of the Belleville set and it also, they're also in the new gingerbread house, but I haven't actually stolen them out of the gingerbread house because I've still got to put lights in that. But this is so, so cute. It's going to be so colourful. Going to put some more of these transparent, these clear pieces down here that try and just, just fill it out a bit more because this is going to be a display area. I just want to make it reasonably symmetrical. Love these pieces that came out of the Frozen set. They make a nice backdrop. And these, these are going to be really useful because they've got forward-facing studs, right? Plus they make a nice little texture with the line down the side. Okay, working back down here, this is what we're going to be selling. This is going to be a place that sells the craziest, most sought after drinks. And I don't have names for half of these. <laughs> so I did think that this one that I'm building right now, this one should be like some sort of cactus juice. Cause I was remembering in the avatar, the last airbender when he drinks the cactus juice, <laughs> that would be perfect for the cactus juice. Anyway, these all need some really fancy names because, and they have to be crazy names. I mean, this one, he's got flies in it. It's pink with flies in it. <laughs> Who would come to this place? But they do. Everybody comes to this place because it's got the best, craziest drinks. And this one here is going to be a feature drink in the middle. It's going to be, going to be, oh, what should we call this one? Because it's going to be pink. And I wanted to use, I'm just going to take this up one more stud just to sit this bit in the middle up a bit higher. And I love all these jar pieces. They're going to be really handy. This timer from the Lego Elves one. So nice because it looks like this is dripping down, like decanting down. And I reckon this might be Jigglypuff juice. <laughs> is that too wrong? <laughs> so we juiced some Jigglypuffs and we made that one. What could this one be? I don't even know if this is juice. This is like a fountain. This is like your juice fountain of purple sparkly juice of some sort. <laughs> I just had to use all the pieces. Now, where are we going to put this? This one's going to be centerpiece. This is like the fancy centerpiece one, the Jigglypuff juice. And this purple fountainy thing is over here on the side. Now, really fancy drinks. We're going to make some more display area up here. And because this is the biggest 
these are the biggest base plates, or the longest base plates I have. This is going to just be really piecey, lots of little pieces. The yellow pieces are light to downlight on our really fancy drinks down below. And I don't have any smooth translucent pink pieces, transparent pink pieces. So we have to use the little dots. Now this drink up here is sitting off, it's, it's sitting up a bit, but I want to put it in front of the window bit. So if I, if I actually put it up by one more stud, it's going to fit in that spot nicely. That's cute. <laughs> it's very cute. In fact, I think that one might be Pinky Punk Juice. I'm going to call that one Pinky Punk Juice. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much fun, except I think I'm going to run out of juice names. Now we need a matching kind of architecture on the other side. I just need to make sure that everything's at the same height and that I have as many pink pieces as I need to make sure it's all matchy matchy. And on this side, we're going to have this little jar with an orange, like orange vapor coming out of it. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. I'm not certain I ever want to drink it. Now these, these hook pieces are going to be the only thing that I have that I can actually hook into this, which has come from one of the Frozen sets. And this is going to be a feature part on the top of our little drink section here. And it, we're going to get them to meet in the middle because I've got two of these and they're going to be symmetrical. That should work. It doesn't feel awfully stable because I cannot... I don't have a whole heap of connecting bricks, but we're just going to have some, <laughs> it's going to make do. It's going to look a little bit like somebody vomited a lot of boil lollies onto one big building site and then built out of them. <laughs> That's what I think it's going to end up doing now. Have I got these? I think they meet. Yes, they meet nicely. Isn't that pretty? So this is the drink. This is the servery area. In front, we need uh, one of those little like tall bar things. And because I've only got these as the only smooth topped big pieces. We're going to use these shields and I'm going to be a bit creative because they've got the cute little pointy ends. I'm going to put these, going to offset them a little bit. So if we put these out here, we can do that so that it makes a bit of an angle, which is cool. Very cool because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have used these shield pieces otherwise, except that I gave myself this challenge to make the transparent build. Actually, you guys gave me this, this challenge, which is excellent. Okay. So we've got the serving area for our crazy drinks bar. Now this is cool. We, did you know that these actually slot in between the studs? very useful when we don't have a lot of connecting pieces. So I'm going to use this here as the orders computer or for, you know, for paying. And we're going to put this, we can put it anywhere in between the studs. So maybe over here, except that's kind of now blocking her exit from, oops, <laughs> Casper just fell off the bar top there. He probably shouldn't be on the bar top because dogs shouldn't really be. He's a ghost dog, so I don't know what it counts. Let's put this right in the middle which I think looks really, really good, except it's a little bit tall. You can only just see Crystal's eyes over the top, but that's awesome. I think this is turning out really well. This area actually looks quite sophisticated, but prepare yourselves because we've got to fill the rest of this base plate. Now over here, let's put another drink. This one's going to have a big tall, like explosion of of water going up and I don't know what I'm going to call that over here. You guys are going to have to tell me in the comments what you think. If you like have a fancy name for some of these fancy drinks, <laughs> so my creativity is running out. Okay. Over here, we're going to have bottles of all sorts of different juice and they're all going to have some of these special elements firing out of the top of them. So this one's got the green element. This one's got a blue lightning strike coming out. This one here, I think we might, we might uh, put this one might be on fire. It's got a little candle flame. <laughs> I don't think I want to drink that one. I would burn my lips. This one over here looks dangerous. So <laughs> dangerous, but cool. Okay. I want to fill this little part of the wall with some studs, which will look like lights. So it looks like lights coming through there. It looks so pretty. We'll, we'll see how tall we can make this. That's going to, yep. Okay. So that's sectioning off that area down here, I think is a perfect place to make a, a pattern carpet with our shields. Cause I've got a lot of these shields. Thank you very much. Lego movie Two spa set. Cause you had a bazillionty of these shields and we can make a cute little pattern down here. Cause I just don't have many smooth pieces <laughs> in trans in translucent, transparent in transparent. Okay. That's cute. That looks nice. Now over here, let's make some more wall here. We're just going to make it see-through glass because we are absolutely filling this with color. Let's make that the same height and 
Now let's, I want a few more of these wall pieces with the lights in them, just to match the one that we've got there, otherwise it's gonna look kind of out of place just sitting there on one side. And I do need supporting walls. You might have guessed what I'm going to need supporting walls for. Now we don't actually have an apartment anymore to add this to, but I do have a plan to put this up here and make it a second little level, like a little mezzanine level. <laughs> so I'm gonna need some more supports. Definitely gonna need some more supports to be able to hold this up. And, oh, okay, down the bottom, I wanna use some more of these glittery pieces, but we're gonna have more of a display area in front of this. So we're gonna fill these, these little areas with some more cool things to buy some more fancy special things, which are colorful and crazy. <laughs> okay, I think that we can build some stairs now to go up to there. Now I've got quite a few of these, these clear pieces. I don't know, I, I just don't know how structurally sound this is going to be because I want to, <laughs> I want to make it all match. I don't just want to have a mismatch of colors going up, otherwise it's going to just look a little bit messy. Even though we got lots and lots of colors everywhere else, I want the stairs to be, to be kind of kind of uniform but oh, I reckon we're gonna need a bit more support underneath but we'll see I wonder if I've got enough bricks to get all the way up there <laughs> I don't want to press down on it either because I think I will crash it down and I reckon that might be the right height there we go look at that <gasps> I fluked that and I'm not pressing in the middle of those because they will that will collapse down now I really wanted to use this dome but I cannot fill it because I've only got these pieces which go around the sides. So I want to put these in, but I don't know how we can have this as like an ice cream place. It's They're all going to just fall out because I don't have any way I can connect this except straight to the base plate. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to call it, if I can get it to go down, we're going to call this a table. <laughs> this is a table. Don't put anything on it because uh, it will just slide straight off. But nothing in here is gonna be very conventional. In fact, these seats are going to be very uncomfortable because they've got, <laughs> got to start in the middle of them. But they're cute and that's all that really matters at the moment. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue on. Let's put some more featured drinks on some pedestals around the place. Now, this one here is so, it's so pretty. It's gonna take up a bit of room. So we might put it over here. Actually, that's not a really good place because that's kind of the walkway through to our uncomfortable table and pretty flower seats there. So maybe we'll just move it back against the wall. <gasps> Cute! And if you want to order that, you can just go and take it from there. And in front of here, going to put some more of these little containers because they're going to be display areas for something in a moment, which I'm not going to show you just yet. <laughs> I think you're going to absolutely freak out when you see it. Let's do another pedestal here. And... Let's make this one a really fancy one too, with another one of these little timers. And I need to use all these little connector pieces to make sure it is going to be able to connect up properly. And in it is this weird looking concoction. This has to have a fancy name. I just don't know what it should be and it's not gonna fit there. So maybe, maybe here. That's good, that's actually quite centered between the stairs. Now, these little buckets here are going to have giant gummy balloon dogs in them. Because yes, this shop also sells sweets. <laughs> Giant gummies <laughs> down here. Okay, I need another pedestal here for another fancy drink. And I think I can put it, I think it'll fit there. Let's see. So this bottle here that says drink me, which is an invitation for disaster if ever I heard one. This is an exploding drink. We can use this big water splash. Look at that. I wonder if that's like petrified there. That would be so cool. <laughs> okay. Heading up here is where our candy part of the shop is. So downstairs is mostly drinks, apart from the giant gummy balloon puppies. Up here we're going to have the candy. So I've always wanted to make a candy shop. So I think I need to make a whole candy shop. But for now, we're going to just have a little section of one. So up here, this one's going to be filled with boil lollies or gummies. And we're going to have a few of these and they're just going to basically be brightly colored. So let me see. I want to put fencing along here though. So I might need to because I don't want anyone to fall off the side. So I might need to move these back a little bit. Nice. All right, so that's good. Now we can continue putting some more of these jars of lollies in. They look so pretty with all of those, those little flat studs on them. 
So, oh, I need to move that forward a bit because there's not quite enough room to fit the jar in. So more delicious gummy studs in here. Mm, they look so cute. Okay, we've got, I can put a different color lid on this one too. I wonder if I've got three of these in three different colors. I might be able to. So we'll put another one down here. They're all displayed beautifully at different heights. So you can see all the different candies in all the different jars. You can decide I might just buy the whole jar and take it home and I do have a red lid for that so that's perfect okay so more crazy stuff up here let's use another one of these frozen pieces here frozen set pieces and on them we're going to have rock candy like proper rock candy I'm calling this translucent <laughs> because you can see through it you just kind of this one's blue even though it doesn't look it so these are geodes that came in the space sets and I love them so much but they are that they, you can see through them the light goes through the glittery bit anyway I told you I wasn't going to cheat again and the outside is opaque I know but we're just kind of it's only a little cheat and I, it's not it's only a little cheat up here we've got some stick candy Yum, 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 big long ones. And of course we have to put the fancy shaped one over here too. Because <laughs> this is crazy land. This is totally crazy. Okay, I'm going to move that over there. And now I'm going to put a little bit more fencing along here. And a little bit along the front too. That's cute. That's such a cute little mezzanine area. Yeah, there's still enough room to... To, to turn around and to check out all of the delicious stuff. I think there's room though for one more, let's put one more little display area here. We can use this as a bowl and we can put in some, some crystals, like some crystal candy. <laughs> so like the rock candy, but in cut crystal form. <laughs> so pretty, let's move that over there. And I think that our candy shop up here is I think it's as full as it can get now we need we need a seating area down here for the people to buy like to sit when they buy their delicious things and this is actually going to help hold these base plates together so let's see I do have enough of these that I can match them so I can make a couple of chairs here and another little seating area over here and then we can put a table in the middle though the table the table is hard because uh no, hold on Oh, maybe I can use one of these glittery pieces. That's cute. I don't have any flat round pieces, so I have to use this, which just maybe a bigger one. There we go. Put a bigger one on the top. So that's now the table. And on top of this is going to be a fancy shareable drink. This one we're going to put, it's actually dribbling over the sides. <laughs> and this one I've got a name for. This one is called the Pentagalactic Gargle Blaster because it is totally, totally the drink from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Okay. All right. So this one's for sharing. The Crystal and Casper could share it, but they shouldn't because they're actually supposed to be working here. But that is already there for the customers to come in and drink. Oh my goodness. It really does. I'm sorry. It does actually look like we have vomited boiled lollies on here, but I have not finished yet. I've got these wings and I am determined to use them. So we're going to make a drink. This one is going to be petrified fairy juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit concerning. And because it's not, well, because it's not going to stand up on the bar properly by itself and there's no studs I can attach it to, if we use one of these pieces, then this is going to make a nice big base for it. <laughs> Who's going to order the petrified fairy juice? Not me. <laughs> I'm having the pantagalactic gargle blaster. Okay, so we have made a fancy drink bar, which I'm sure needs a better name than that, with <laughs> giant gummy and candy store and I, <laughs> I'm surprised that I actually managed to make something out of all of these transparent pieces. Now I could actually give her a little serving tray out of one of these shields. Oh, actually no, I want to use the, the pink slushy, which I'm sure should have a cool name, but I cannot think of one at the moment because I run out of ideas. But I think it turned out really well considering our limitations and I only cheated twice, so it's pretty good for me. Okay, what would you order if you stumbled into this transparent catastrophe of a shop? <laughs> Let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are on for another too much build because I know there are more things we can do. And until then, uh, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.